good afternoon from the Evermore Resort. This place is interesting because it is a vacation community that was built with the sole purpose of rental. So there are varying types of accommodations here. There's houses, there's villas, there's hotel rooms, all of them operating with a hotel standard. So it's like you're coming in and feeling at home, but still having a lot of the amenities of a hotel. So what we're here today to do is we're gonna tour some of the houses that you can rent. You can rent a nine bedroom, you can rent an 11 bedroom. We're gonna to tour those two today. Then we're gonna get a tour of the entire property, see what it's all about, see some of the other accommodations. There's even a hotel, like a luxury Conrad hotel here on property. There is a crystal lagoon on property, which is like a man-made lake that is crystal clear. It's a gigantic body of water that is crystal clear. You can go swimming in it. It's like an inland beach. I'm very excited to have a look around all these things. Thank you to Evermore for inviting us out to have a look around. First things first, this nine bedroom right here. So this is the backyard and the pool of the house. And this is the first house we're gonna go through. This is a nine bedroom house. So there's some interesting things about Evermore. It has 2,013 bedrooms through 69 houses ranging in size from five to 11 bedrooms, 206 four bedroom flats, 42 two and four bedroom villas, and 433 hotel rooms at the Conrad Hotel, which is Hilton's luxury brand, including 51 impeccably designed suites, 10 spacious family suites, and the Conrad Spa with an outdoor water garden. So not only are there all these places that you can stay on property, there's also a 20 acre beach complex, an eight acre crystal lagoon that you can go swimming in. And then there's also 15 restaurants, bars, and markets, as well as an 18 hole like Jack Nicholas designed golf course. This place has everything. There's so much to do here. I can't wait to look around the rest of the property. So we're just kind of looking around the backyard of the nine bedroom before we get started. It's nice. There's a lot of space out here. A lot of entertaining space as well. I really like this hanging chair. There's a lot to, a lot of places to entertain and to hang out with the family. So one of the other things that's unique about Evermore is they have an experience that's called Evermore to your door that provides guests with meals and bartending inside of their vacation home. So there are different tiers to this. So you can get like a full out bar brought over with like a bartender and everything. Or if you're interested in something a little bit more low key, you can just have a meal brought to your house or you can go as so high as to a personal chef coming to your house or coming to your vacation home and cooking for you. They also have the ability to bring cold meals that you warm up later. So it's a neat, a neat amenity that they do offer here at Evermore. And we're gonna get a chance to taste some of that food later. You can see they brought some, and there's a full out giant table out here, a hammock, there's a wet bar, there's a sink for you to use, and a half bath out here as well. So one of the things that they have for us here, they have a mocktail. This is what they describe as a cinnamon roll and a pina colada mixed together. It sounds very delicious. Heading inside to have a look around. Yeah, it's very nice. Lots and lots of space. One thing that they said is these houses sleep a lot of people, but there is a seat for everybody. Like you see, lots of big couches, lots of space on the couch, and lots and lots of counter space. <coughs> nice. Very nice. And you know that when you have a lot of people, you got a lot of dishes. So you're gonna need two dishwashers. This house can sleep 26 people. It is a nine bedroom with a theater. So let's have a look around. So just off the kitchen, we've got our first bedroom, king size bed. It's very spacious. There's a full bath in here with a walk-in shower and then a walk-in closet, full-size mirror. Well, this is nice, right? I like that. You guys know we love to see it, right? USBs next to the bed, glorious. I also like how much natural light there is in this house. So this won't be a traditional tour like we normally do at these houses. I'm just gonna kind of look around a little bit, see what we can find give you guys kind of an overview because this is a media event so there is a lot going on and it'll kind of be jumping around a little bit too so you're just going to kind of get an idea of what this house is like another thing I wanted to look at was this kitchen over here because I didn't get a chance to look into the pantry over there oh so there is a second refrigerator in the pantry here also high chair that's nice there's a phone in here too lots of towels and there's a pack and play up there something that's unique about this property too is they can also you can also do housekeeping on demand like if you have a big gathering everybody comes out big dinner 
and the house is a mess, you can call housekeeping. They'll come down and clean it up for you. So something that's unique about the nine bedroom is this is a nine bedroom with a theater. So you can see big screen there, two subwoofers, surround sound. I like it. Lots and lots of space in here to relax. I like these little chairs down here too. These are very fun. So the adults can sit back here a little bit further back, relax, and then the kids would sit up front there on these like almost like bean bags and see how comfortable these things are. Oh, this is nice. Okay, and they kind of like have a little bit of a bounce to them. Ooh, yeah, I can definitely watch something here. This, <laughs> catch me in here. There is also a washer and dryer down here on the first floor. Iron, ironing board, dust pans. It's like a little vacuum they use in restaurants. This is a flashlight in case you need it. So down on the first floor of this particular unit, there are just two bedrooms. We're heading into the second bedroom now. Well, this is cool. I like how they have these like really low slung chandeliers. A walk-in closet back there. TV. So this bathroom is a little bit bigger down here. Oh, I like this. This is very nice. A fairly big shower with a rainfall shower head and a wand. And then the toilet has its own little room back here. Whoa, I like this art. That's fun. Also, everything is very tall, very tall ceilings. The bathroom ceiling is taller. I don't know why the bathroom ceiling is taller than the, like the, the where the toilet is, is taller than this bathroom. All right, let's try to head upstairs. As we're going upstairs, I did also want to point out there is a mirror and a table for before you leave and a spot for you to put your keys, your magic bands, anything that you would need. Well, I just realized this is three stories. All right. So you come upstairs, another seating area up here with a large TV, ping pong table. We'll have a look, see if we can get through some of these bedrooms pretty quick. Let's see. Something else that they said is there's no real fighting over who gets a bedroom with a bathroom because all of the bedrooms have bathrooms. Yeah. So far, the only tub that I'm seeing is that one downstairs. I like this tile wall. So we're gonna kind of go, all of the, ba all of the uh, closets look exactly the same too, which is nice. Cause I feel like we're on a little bit of a time crunch. I like all the art in the rooms too. Okay, so this one kind of mirrors the bedroom that's underneath us. Is the bathroom the same? Bathroom's exactly the same. Okay, I like that. That's fun. A good little feature there. I also like that the fan is directly over top of the bed. And I like this bed too. Lots and lots of space for entertaining. Yeah. Is this also the same? It is. That's nice. I like this. Makes it easy to pick a bedroom when they are all the same. So this is above the theater room, which is this bedroom that we just came out of is above the theater room. And they do have a 10 bedroom floor plan that doesn't have the theater, whereas the theater is converted into a room just like this one, probably exactly the same as this one. And then across the hall. So this is where we came from. That's where the seating area is out there. Looks like we've got a couple of bedrooms here. Okay, for the kids, right? Got a couple of full-size beds. The bathrooms are a little bit smaller, but there's two sinks. Walk-in shower over here. Separate room for the toilet. And then, oh, I like this too. Where'd you guys get your art? Because I'd like to have this. Let's step across the hall here and have a look. There's a closet here, bathroom here with the toilets not in a separate room, but another walk-in shower. And then... Okay, so this one mirrors the room that was below us, but the room that was below us had a bathroom entrance here. So the kitchen was like in this area over here underneath us. And then you walked into that first bedroom that we looked at. And this is an exact mirror copy of that, except for the bathroom is just out in the hall here. And the closet is out in the hall here, whereas the closet in the one downstairs was underneath the stairs. Okay, now let's head up the next set of stairs. Let's see up to the third floor. I love the natural light in this house. Feels good. Oh, shuffleboard. You guys know I love shuffleboard. Right there. Ooh. Another seating area with 
and you go slide an arcade door, area. On the, the arcade up ones. Pac Mania, Miss Pac Man, Pac Mania. These are like multi cades. Some big like floor pillows. These are kid size tables here where they can have their snacks and such. Also, lots of space for say like gaming consoles or just charging tablets. One of the bedrooms up here. Okay. Oh, the bunk rooms. Look at this. This is fun for the kids. Yeah. I like that. One big bed. Who gets the big bed? And then for the bathroom for the kids, I like that it's like little lockers for them too. Hang up their stuff. Yeah, look at this. This is cool. Kind of feels like we're at Hogwarts or something, right? The toilet's a little bit smaller up here. Does it look smaller? Is it small? Kind of feels smaller, doesn't it? I'll have to ask about this. And then the shower over here, which I like that there's a little like bench outside for you to get dressed or to get ready to get into the shower. And directly across the way, we have another mirror bedroom, just like that. Bunk beds, showers over here on this one, three sinks. Oh, there's also a little step stool too, in case you need help reaching up to it. And then the toilet. From the top floor, we get a view out onto the Jack Nicholas designed 18 hole golf course. Here's a look at the outside of the nine bedroom theater house. So a few things that they mentioned while I was looking around is that one thing that they're working on is game console rentals. So if the kids come and they like maybe are missing their Xbox, their PlayStation, their Switch, they're still working on it. It's not finalized yet, but that's something that they want to have here in the future is game console rentals. They also mentioned a neat idea. So as we said earlier, they have all kinds of different ever more to your door amenities, like different tiers of that. One of them being a private chef. You can have a private chef come in and cook you a meal. So say you've got younger kids with you and you wanna have like a date night with your significant other and you wanna have a private chef come out and cook you a meal. Maybe the kids aren't interested in that. So you order a pizza, pizza comes, you send the kids upstairs with the pizza and that's two stories up. You won't be able to hear them. It'll be private for you to have your private chef down here on the first floor with a wine pairing two hours later kids didn't even know that you did anything. They were just up there watching a movie, eating pizza. All right, now we're heading into the 11 bedroom. Like I said, I love all of the artwork in here. Ooh, I was gonna say it smells like a chef has been here, but it looks like they're already serving lunch as a chef has been in here. So very similar layout to the nine bedroom. And let's see, so, so far, okay. This is where the theater room was in the nine theater. And this will give you an idea of what it looks like as a bedroom instead of a theater room. And this is very similar layout or very similar design with these same, you know, the bathtubs and the showers and the toilet over there. I'm gonna see if there's something different to show you guys. So, so far, everything looks the same down here, except for this room, which was the theater in the other room or the other house. Ooh, yes, delicious, delicious food. So this is an example of some of the stuff that you could get with Evermore to your door. Oh yeah, look at this. Holy cow, chocolate velvet cake. What an exciting display. Yeah. Amazing, thank you. A little bit different layout here. This refrigerator is here with the towels and the high chair and the pack and play. And then that way leads out to the pool. And there's no stairs here, but the laundry room is over here now. Next to, this was, we were, was underneath the stairs before. And then the bathroom layout down here is a little bit different in this bedroom. So, but you can tell it's like, they're very similar in design between the two houses. Let's go upstairs and see if there's anything else that's different. So the stairs are, as soon as you walk in, a little bit wider version of the stairs too and then bathroom underneath the stairs or half bath underneath the stairs but also this is the mirror and the table for you to set your stuff on before you leave or for you to check yourself out let's go upstairs and have a look at the second story oh my goodness there's a slide look at this i'm gonna go down the slide aren't i yeah, same idea, a little bit just bigger, right? 
So if you're on the third floor, which was the kids area, and you wanna come down to the second floor, just take the slide. Let's have a look. Okay, once again, similar design. This would be like the teenager's floor, I have a feeling, right? Ping pong, yeah, same bedrooms as we've seen before, but there's just a lot of them, right? Bathroom over there, bedroom here, bath, or wait. Oh, the bathroom's back there, okay. Yeah, okay, let's head up to the third floor now. Sorry, still on the second floor. Couple more bedrooms here. Bathroom back here. This bathroom's tucked in there, isn't it? Sorry, I know I'm going quick, but there's just a lot to see. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, and the closet's back here. This is a bigger closet. I was gonna say, this room's a little bit smaller but the closet's bigger, so you get a little trade-off in closet size. All right, we'll go up to the third floor, which in the other unit was where the kids' area was. Same idea here, the kids' area. No, oh. the consoles are over there, but then you also have a little tabletop console over here, like a multi-cade. Yeah, this is nice. Same idea, the bunks. And the bathrooms. And I like that you can lock the slide if you want to. You don't want the kids going down the slide in the middle of the night? Close it down. Yeah. All right, let's see if I, I gotta ask somebody if I go down the slide. All right, I got clearance. They said I can go down the slide. So it's probably gonna be a tight fit. I'm kind of a tall person. I was, listen how quiet it is up here. Like, I know there's the arcade happening, but right now, the rest of the media people are all downstairs eating in the, in the kitchen. And like, I don't hear anything. All right, here we go. Let's see. First one down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I made it. Look at that. And then it's time to play some ping pong. Also, the backyard of this house is a little bit different. There's a swing, a hammock out, and a little bit of sand down here. The pool is the same, but the actual like area feels so much bigger. And this like covered area is bigger too in this house. Yeah, but this area feels a little bit shallower. Huh. Interesting. Also, outdoor shower and a grill. So very nice. You never have to worry about running out of propane too because it is hard piped in. So this is interesting stuff because this is the executive chef and the executive pastry chef that have created this experience for us. And so this is just giving you an idea of whatever more to your door could be the high end of it. Then a personal chef comes out. You can also get a personal pastry chef to come out and do a dessert experience for you. And it was, isn't just, you know, chocolate velvet cake. But this is just an example of one of the things that he can make. We talked a little bit about cookies. Do a whole cookie experience. Here. I was talking with the pastry chef about cookies. And then they brought us over. They brought me over a cookie. So we're going to get look at this thing. This chocolate chip cookie is amazing making. Did everybody grab a gift before you, before you leave? There were gifts on the table. Mm. If you want to grab your gifts so you can drop it off in your car. That's fantastic. That was a fantastic cookie. Next stop on the tour, we're headed over to the flats. So now we are inside of the building. Oh, look at the amenities. Those are the houses that we came from. And this is the Crystal Lagoon. Like I said, you can go swimming in that, but it looks like a beach. So this is not, I'm not gonna say a few words. You guys go ahead and roam and I'm just gonna be here to answer questions. Oh yeah, this is nice. We have the kitchen, a view at the Crystal Lagoon. The kitchen very similar to that of the house. A nice large table here. Laundry room. Yeah. Fair. Oh, I like this. So like transom window over here. Very similar feel to the house. Yeah. I like it. So yeah. Each one has an ensuite bathroom. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Picture yourself here. You wake up in the morning. You roll out of bed. You look 
out onto the Crystal Lagoon. Look, at there's people kayaking in it. There's a boat over there. You just go downstairs, take the elevator down, walk out. Boom, you're on the beach. Another bedroom over there. Same that we just came out of. And then, is this the kids' room? Yes. Like the bunk room? Oh, yeah. Same idea as we saw in the house. So this is the heart of the Evermore Resort. You can see almost everything from here. The building that's straight in the center of the frame right there is the Conrad Hotel, a luxury Hilton hotel. This is Evermore Bay, across the way of the villas. And then this is the boathouse, and then just beyond it is the, the food hall. This is what they're calling South Beach, not like South Beach, Miami, but the South Directional Beach. That's where all the all the activities are going to be happening, the DJ and all that other fun stuff. There's a big slide over here that could have four people going down at the same time. There's these blue, these blue like poles out here are going to be rope swings. There's some dive platforms over here into a 12 foot section. But this is eight acres of water that you can go swimming in. Like, or paddle boarding or kayaking. There are, some that only there are 20 acres of beach they out here. It, it Look at this. Just like go out and hang out in one of these little pods on the beach. On the Holy cow. So, this is an amazing fact here. So, as you can see, there is a person kayaking out here. There's a person paddle boarding out here as well. And then, if we go over here to the boathouse, we're going to walk down there right now. But they have this little Duffy boat over here, and there's a refurbished Chris Craft on the other side that you can't quite see right now. But they are completely refurbished to be electric so that they can operate within this Crystal Lagoon because you wouldn't want to have any fuel in the lagoon that would contaminate it. So they've got electric motors in them. This is amazing. Look at this gigantic umbrella. You could hang out here, do some work in this thing. Look at this table with the swings. There's a bar here called Barbara Ann's. That has a full bar and they also have light bites. Let's see if we can have a look at the menu really quick. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, how are you? Oh yeah, like chips and dip, island ceviche, conch fritters, flora bean salad. I love that. That's funny, empanadas, flatbread. And this is a old VW bus, like a micro bus that they converted into a bar. And here's a close-up look at the Crystal Lagoon. This is absolutely bonkers because like, I think you can just go swimming right here. Just like, go in. I, maybe not, because they have like this, this specific swimming areas like roped off. I'm gonna feel it though. Let's see what the water feels like. Oh, it's nice. It's very cold right now. <laughs> but, oh, I love this. This makes me feel like we're out at a beach town. So, interesting fact about the beach here is that the actual like amenities close at sunset like the bar, because they don't want people to have a little bit too much and make it into the water. But there are still activities that happen on the beach at night. So like there's fire pits, there's hammocks all over the place, plenty of seating that you could come out to and just like hang out at night on the beach area. So we're headed over to the boathouse now, which is not like the restaurant, the boathouse, but a house for boats. <laughs> so the boathouse is their event space. And like this lawn out here that we're on could be for weddings. Or, yeah, like the stairs could be the stage over there. And then you turn around and head into the boathouse for your reception. So yeah, if you are interested in having a wedding on here, not only do you have a lot of spaces for people to stay, you have an event space to have your wedding. Fully refurbished 1959 Chris Craft. I think it's so interesting. And this is refurbished to electric so that it can run in the water here. But it's so interesting because the boathouse at Disney Springs also has a lot of Chris Craft. This Chris Craft happens to be here at the location that they call the boathouse. And you can just kind of look out onto the Crystal Lagoon. How beautiful is this property? Like, I'm, I'm blown away by how nice this is. On the bottom floor here, it looks like we've got some retail space. Man. So you guys can see a little bit closer. And the refurbished the Duffy, the Duffy boat. That blue, um, iron arm. You can also see the cabanas. Oh, there's this the swing. The and then you can see this is the area where our guests are going to There's also cabanas. All around. And then you can see the beach continue. We're not going to walk through the sand. We're actually going to wheelchairs for the so sand, kayaks, but paddle boards, kind of see where we're life vests. So you can kind of see these roped off areas are the swimming areas. And then the rest of the lagoon is for kayak rentals and 
stand-up paddleboard rentals and the boats. Yeah, Dockside Outfitters. This is where you would rent your paddle boards or your stand or your kayaks or anything. And this is also a retail space. And I did ask about spa services. There is a spa over at the Conrad. I'll have to ask if you can access it if you're staying here because they have also noted throughout this tour that Conrad has exclusive offerings that people that are staying in the villas or the flats or the houses cannot access. Another view onto the Jack Nicholas designed golf course. So there are two golf courses on property and these are the old Grand Cypress golf courses. So we're walking towards the marketplace. I like that they took the opportunity to add lighting to the natural landscaping to kind of light this pathway. And I'm sure you guys are noticing I'm walking a lot on this tour, walking a great distance from where the houses were that we first started at. There are uh, trolleys that you can take throughout the property to get wherever you want to go. And these pods are all over the place at the beach. Little like private pod loungers here. What are they like these sacks out here? Like bean bags or like pillows and starfish sea stars that you can sit on out here. Here's just kind of a look at everything that is available here at Evermore. Conrad up there, the villas over here. There is a Peloton studio and fitness center, a volleyball court, Hammock, Grove, Cabanas, lots of Cabanas, lots of fire pits around the boathouse, which is where we just were. Um, and then now we're headed to the landing. See, there's a fire pit over here, a couple of fire pits, another fitness center, guest services, a food hall. There's a slide, the blue hole, which is like the deep spot there where you can do the rope swing. There's a bar down here called Ebb and Flow here. There's a restaurant up above called Twin Views. Floor to ceiling windows. You can see one view is out towards the bay. The other one is out towards the golf course. Like we said, this is South Beach over here. This is where like all of the activities are going to be happening. There's going to be a DJ over here. There's going to be all kinds of activities for the kids and for the adults. Sandcastle building, bracelet making, and then you got a ping pong table over here too. And some cornhole or beanbag toss or bag toss. So right now we're headed upstairs to Twin View. So here's a look at the dinner menu. Give you an idea. We've got some seafood. We've got some nice salads too chicken pork chops the wagyu burger filet mignon oh yeah pasta and there's lots of different wines available and beers and then specialty cocktails and then here is the lunch menu i'm excited for the cuban sandwich excited for the wagyu burger honey strung chicken oh my goodness so instead of a kid's menu, you come in here and you get a little like, they call it a happy sack. That's what you get. You can get like crossword puzzles and crayons and like different little knickknacks to play with. And then each kid gets a coin to use in the, in the coin machine. Get a little duck. So this is a three meal restaurant. And here's a look at the breakfast menu. Which is nice. And it has a good feel in here. It does kind of feel very coastal, very almost tropical. Like Florida coastal is what I'm feeling when I get in here. I like all the exposed wood. Oh, and there is a private dining area if you require that right here. So we're into the food hall, craft burgers, pizza. I like this, this is nice. Very large and open. And it looks like you can order everything from this touch screen here. So let's see, you got Kraft Burgers, you got Props Pizza, and you got, that's a wrap for lunch that's available right now. And this is a pay-as-you-go resort, so you're not, you don't have room charges or anything like that. You just pay with a credit card, like you would if you were just out at a food hall somewhere. Lots and lots of seating up here. Three different restaurants. Let's see, Kraft Burgers. Kraft Burgers, nice and easy. They got a, a, veg a vegan one, too. The featured item is the Fletcher Bourbon Bacon Jam. Let's see what's over at the pizza place. Lots of different options for pizza. Wow, personal carne amor. Yeah, you can get a personal pizza or a large pizza. Let's see what's over at, that's a wrap. Lots of selections here, a poke wrap, a poke bowl. Okay, fantastic stuff. You can build your own as well. And then beverages, you can get whatever you want to, you know? Wines, beers. Green juice, like fresh pressed juices, Cokes, oh, Coke or Pepsi products. Look at that. So one of the burgers here at Kraft Burgers, like we said, was the Fletcher Burger. That's their featured burger. And they said that the 
person who invented the hamburger was named Fletcher Davis. And this is an ode to Fletcher right here, the Fletcher Burger. Over here, the pizzas, they have some on display. You got some cannolis here, some tiramisu. This is the personal size. This is the large size. Italian rainbow cookies. Oh, and that's a wrap kind of feels almost like Subway slash Chipotle style, where you just kind of like tell them what you want in your wrap and they can make it for you. Or you can pre-order it from the touch screen. So this is the, oh, this is Everett. Who's Everett? I don't know, we gotta find out. Sandwich provisions. Okay, so they've got breakfast sandwiches over here. They got a coffee bar. Okay, and then you can just get stuff from the market over here. All kinds of different pastries. You can just get like a Celsius to go. Some full size potato chip things. Waters over there. Uh, we got some beers and some ciders and some wines in a can it looks like over yonder. Yes, this is called Sand Hill Provisions. Some pastries over here. Oh, if you need coffee, they've got it for you. Milks, ice if you need it, ice creams. S'mores kit right here, marshmallow sticks for when they're doing the bonfires outside. Spirits, you can get, if you need a whole bottle of Captain Morgan, the full-size wines, you can get some champagnes or some sparkling wines. You can get sliced meats to make your own sandwiches, bacon down here. Yeah, oh, you can get this giant thing of Grey Goose. I don't think that's actually for sale, but a baby wipes, diapers, anything you might need here, uh, pads, tampons, afterburn or after shell, after sunburn gel, contact solution, mosquito repellers. There's an ATM out there. This is like guest services beyond here. Dockside Outfitters, you can get shoes, shirts, hats, corksicles, they sell corksicles here. Workout clothes that say Evermore. This is fantastic. There's a lot of stuff that you can get here in this little provision store. There is a little paper here that gives you February fitness classes, mimosa yoga lattes in Hammock Grove, lightsaber technique, toning hips fitness, hips Polynesian fitness. Wow, deep stretch and meditation. And then on the other side, this is the entertainment schedule for like the live singer, jazz vocals, the vocalitas. We've seen them before. Derek Stroker, uh, Lauren Carter Fox, Austin Brown. It's great. So there's live entertainment that'll happen outside here on, it's like at Ebb and Flow Bar, which is right outside. The Lawn Landing Fire Pit, which is right over there where we were. And then the fitness studio is upstairs here. There are also entertainment offerings here, like bowling, tabletop bowling, balance the baker, like uh, basically Jenga. Like neck fans too, waterproof phone cases. So this is guest services. If anything goes wrong in your unit, you could come here and talk to them or just give them a call. We are going to take the shuttle to our next location. This is the Evermore shuttle. And this trolley or this tram is handicap accessible. So we're kind of like passing by some cabanas here and we're looking to see if we can see the big slide. So this is a big slide that you can go down with an entire family. Four people can go down this slide at one time. This is a little bit smaller pool over at the villas. And this would be an older section of the resort here. So the majority of the villas have a golf course view. Our little tour is over. But I came back out to the beach for this. I want to sit in this thing. Oh, this is ridiculous. Like, we're just like here hanging out. I'll be honest, this place really feels like a place that you come to relax, but then also you can get some work done in a relaxing environment. I see like three or four people out here just like doing work out on the beach, hanging out just because like you can. And it's so quiet and calm and relaxing looking. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Evermore to explore the resort, get a tour of the houses, get a tour of the villas, kind of look around, see what kind of food offerings there were. There's still so much more to see here that we didn't even scratch the surface of. It is such an interesting property and it is like right outside of Disney. Like we are very close to the backside of Fort Wilderness. So I think you could be at Magic Kingdom within five minutes from here. I'm gonna map it really quick. We are five miles away from the parking lot of Magic Kingdom. Easily, like 12 minutes with traffic. 
so simple to get to. And like, you're right here. It's so calm here. Not a lot of people here at the moment. The Crystal Lagoon is so beautiful. The rooms and the units are so beautiful. I am ready to stay here. So I wanna say thank you to Evermore for having us out. Can't wait to explore more. I wanna stay at the Conrad too. Also, we can just go to the restaurants at the Conrad. There's like a high-end Mexican restaurant at the Conrad. Like, yeah. I could see us spending a little bit more time here. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi, this is Kayla from Dayton, Ohio, and now it's time to pay the price.